Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And in the previous video, we covered yes, if you have a requirement to change the column positions, then how you can do? You need to get a object of this particular column class. Then you can call the methods set column position. Now we will go for label changing also. How we can change the labels. Suppose if I am running this report. As of now, these labels are coming from your data elements. Whatever the data internal table you have and whatever the data elements you are referring the labels are coming from those data elements. The data, the labels are coming from these data elements which we are referring. Now, suppose customer is saying, I want to change the long label of sales talk. Suppose customer want the long label as document number. Customer bought this long label as document number. Previously, you created the field catalog. So it is very easy. You can simply change the label to document number. Long text you can set as document number. But now we are not going for field catalog. So here we need to just go for same to same approach. We need to look for the methods which method will fulfill our requirement. Now we need to set the label for this particular column. Same approach. Firstly, we will get a object of the column class. Do we have a object of the column class? Yes. In the previous video, we already got a object of the column class. We already have a object of column class. Now we will check into this particular class, which method we can use to set the long text. We will see. Now, if we will see, we will search text. There is no such method for the text. If I will scroll down, there is no such method to check to set the long text or you can say text. So what is the approach in our, what is the approach we should follow in that particular case? Just see, we have a method get underscore call. If I will go for this particular method, if I will go to parameters of this method, this method, once you are passing the column, see column name is importing, importing means input. If you will pass the column name, it will return you the object of this particular class. See, it is type ref2. It means it is returning the object of this particular class. If I will double click onto this particular class and if I will check for a method text here, set fixed header text, I will go for find next, find next, get long text, we want to set, get short text, have you seen we have a method set long text and it is public method, instance method. So we can use this method. Have you seen how, how we are going inside, inside, inside? We started with CLSALV table class. In that we have a method get underscore columns. We have a method get underscore columns. Once we call that method get underscore column, 
we got a object of this particular class. Now, in this particular class, we have a method get underscore column. Once we will call this particular method, we will get a object of this particular class. And in this class, we have a method to set the long text. SAP has provided each and everything. We just need to search which method is applicable to us. So I will simply go for this particular approach. So I will go to back button. I will go to back. So we have the object of this particular column class. Now what we will do? I will simply, simply firstly call the method get underscore column. I will go to pattern. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Firstly, I will go for instance. Hello underscore columns. Now, what is our class? CLSALV columns table. Firstly, we will call the method get underscore column so that we will get a object of single column. I will go for OK. Now, once we call this method, never forget to uncomment try and catch block because if some if some error is there, at least runtime error will not come. So always uncomment, try and catch. Now you want to change the label of which particular column? Sales document number. So what is the column name? BBELN. Once you pass the column, just see double click here. When we double click on the column, it is importing. Importing means input. So whenever we will call, it will treat as exporting. Just see here it is coming as exporting, exporting. Now you are passing the column name. It will return the object, object of this particular column. So I will simply write here, hello underscore column. Now, if I want to check the type of LO underscore column, I will simply double click. Value is of this type. You all know whenever there is type ref2, it means it is a object. So it is returning the object. So now I will declare data LO underscore column type ref to this class. I declare different, different object. Let's see it is columns. It is column. Now we have the object. We have the object of this particular class CLSALB underscore column. If we have the object, can I call the method set long text? Yes, I can call this method. Now I will call. So I will simply, simply go for, firstly, I will copy this class and I will call now. I will go to pattern. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Now the object is LO underscore column. This is our class. CL underscore SALV underscore column. And now I will call the method set long text. Set long text. I will go for OK. And now I will pass the text, whatever the text we want to set. Document number. I provided the text like this itself, but ideally we should always, always create the text symbols 
we should never never hard code the text into one language okay suppose i will create text simple it is clearly explained in all the previous videos of a web programming we should always always prefer text simple so i gave text hyphen 000 i will create this text simple and you all know text symbols are just like data objects document number i will activate i will activate this particular program so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we took the requirement how we can go for label now because there is no field catalog so we have to compulsory use the methods so firstly we call the method get underscore columns of clsalv table class clsalv table class and once we call the method get underscore column we get the object of this particular class CLSALV columns table. We check into this table. There is no direct method to change the long text. So we call the method get underscore column. Once we call the method get underscore column, we get a object of CL underscore SALV underscore column class. In this particular class, we have the method set underscore long text and we use this method to set the long text. In the next video, we will understand the flow in the debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be automatically. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.